Um, my name is Brittany and I'm Morgan and welcome to our beauty channel. Um, we're going to be just uploading maybe weekly vids of like us doing tutorials or um, makeup reviews. So it mean like the world to us if you could subscribe because we're trying to get some subscribers. We, we're just starting out on YouTube and we don't really like, you know, we're like new here. Yeah, we so um, if you like us, subscribe. If you don't like us, still subscribe because... We need subscribers. <laughs> yeah, so um, just basically watch this channel. We're going to be uploading really cool tutorials. The one you're going to see right after this, this is the look. Um, it's a Selena Gomez. This is just our take on a Selena Gomez look with like a peachy pink lip and a purple smoky eye that she had. Um, so we hope you guys enjoy. And again, subscribe to our videos. And um, hope you like the look. So see you next time. Bye. Okay, so I already primed her eyes with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now I'm going to be using Too Faced Shadow Bon Bon's palette and this color I'm going to be using is called uh, Cut the Cake. It's like a very light purple. For um, I'm going to apply it um, to her brow bone. And this look wings out a little bit too so I'm going to go just a little bit past where her eye ends. Next, I'm going to be using a Sephora, I think it's the Blockbuster palette, I'm not quite sure exactly, but it's this one, it's got like a ton of things that just like opens like that, I don't know, you've probably seen it before if you shop at Sephora. So I'm going to use this one on the side, it has no name, it's just a very like uh, bluish dark purple. I'm going to be using that just all over her lid. Now to um, achieve the winged out look, I'm going to use a small angle, it's um, E65, it's from Sigma Makeup Brushes. It's a really tiny, it could be like an eyeliner brush. I'm going to use it, same eyeshadow, and just yeah, wing it out. is um it's this little palette i got from tj maxx i'm not sure what it's called or where it's from but it's got a very sparkly um dark purple looks like that i'm just gonna apply it in the same place i applied the sephora eyeshadow i'm gonna use i'm gonna go back to my big brush Now I'm going to be using a Sephora Coal, Smoky Coal Liner. It's um this one is just black. Um so it looks like this. It's very big, it's very blunt. I'm just going to use it on the top of her lash line. Just go across it and we're going to smudge this in later so it doesn't need to be extremely neat. And just use any of your smudging brushes, any one you want. It's fine. All right, next I'm gonna just clean up some of this um, fallout at the bottom. Like it's, it happens a lot, especially with like shimmery makeup. Oh, you can use this bigger one. Okay. Great. And then you can just use any old foundation brush, um, just a has leftover foundation on it, and just swipe it up the side, and it just completely cleans it up. All right, now going back to the small angle Sigma brush, I'm going to take from the Sephora palette, let me show you another color, it's a light blue. This one right here, I don't know if they can see very well because it's focused <laughs> on your face. Okay. And just apply it right underneath her eye. Not on the waterline though, because the look that we're doing, she has more of like a white inside her waterline. I'm 
Next, I'm going to take my TJ Maxx palette again, and I'm going to take, and this will work with literally any white eyeshadow. This is very shimmery, but I find that shimmery instead of matte white eyeshadows definitely stand out more because matte eyeshadow, white ones just blend right into your skin. So I'm going to apply this right between the eye and her nose. And also, just to kind of brighten it up. And also, all right. I'm going to now take the same smudging brush I used before, and like I said, just any one, whatever you normally use for smudging. It's this one's an Elf. It's a small angled brush. So, I mean, this was probably only like three to three bucks. Yeah, three dollars. I'm, I'm gonna actually take it and just put it on my hand first, the cool liner, because like I said, it's so thick like you're not going to get a very defined line so i'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and then take it up with the um small angle brush and then look upwards okay now i'm going to use sephora uh it's a waterproof jumbo liner it's called i think it's called white glitter it's number 32. um and it looks like this and i'm going to just apply that to the inside of the lash line i mean you know, the um water line Alright, next I'm going to use, um, this is a Dior mascara, but I mean obviously you could use any mascara you want, or your regular mascara, and just do top and bottom lashes. This part will be fast forwarded. Okay, okay, and I'm going to do the lips, because it's a little hard for for you to do lips from this side. Um, but I'm going to be using two lipsticks. I'm going to be mixing them together. But the first one I'm going to use is a cream machine by MAC, and it's called Cross Wires, and it just looks like this. Really pretty color. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my lips. I'm going to clean up here. And then the next one I'm going to use is um, by MAC, and it's from the Hey Sailor collection, but I'm not exactly sure what the name is, because it's like written in Chinese on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know why mine's like that, but it is. So then I'm just going to put that over. And then rub. And then that's it. Yeah. All right. So here's the finished look. Um, I'm just gonna stand so close my eyes just so you guys can see what it looks like. I just finished one of my eyebrows because I totally forgot to do that. But um, here we go. So. And that's it. That's our Selena Gomez take on actually Britney's take because she did a lovely job. So, cross to her. And um, that's it. So hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye.